we know what this game means for us and it will be amazing if we win. Hopefully we can do it. We were going into the game as massive underdogs against Chelsea. We'd have a huge result against Arsenal. Coming out as a winner made, made it so much pressure. Let me take this to uh, to Ben and Eric. Cup final at Wembley, chaps. How are you looking forward to it? I know it's a little while away, but what do you think about this final? Can't wait for it. Look, it's the first chance we've had of picking up a bit of silverware this year. We've got a good chance. For me, it's a great opportunity to win a trophy. No, It's an, an important game ahead that the, we have. We need to, to be ready. You've both been at the club for a while now and having been here for so long, how much is this going to mean to A, step out in a cup final at Wembley, but B, to touch wood, get your hands around the trophy. What would it mean to the pair of you? Yeah, I think it would be huge. I think, you know, as, as a squad, we've got, we're, we're blessed with so much talent. I think I'd probably say we've underachieved in that department. We need, we really need to, uh, really want that bit of silverware just to like cement it to show that we, we have got such a good team here, such good players, and we've put ourselves in the positions to win and come up a little bit short in the past. So. It's another good chance to put that right. Yeah, many, many years playing together with a lot of teammates now. It's been a long time. And like I said before, it's a, a great opportunity to, to win a trophy. It will be amazing, no? It's, it's what uh, we are looking for. I'm going to go to the 2008 boys. Robbo, obviously we famously beat Arsenal 5-1 in the second leg of the semi-final to go through to the final. What was the, the mindset after that was we have to win this trophy, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I think like now, um, it's been a while since the, the, the team last won a trophy and it was the same for us at the time. When we were going into the game as massive underdogs against Chelsea, we'd have a huge result against Arsenal uh, in the semi-final. And the, the team wasn't playing particularly well. One day Ramos had come in, um, but he somehow managed to pull out a result in the final. Yeah, it was massive, of course. Uh, at the end of the day, <clears throat> all the players. That's what we. That's what we want to do: win trophies. Can you remember some of the some of the you know some of the preparations? I, I tend to recall that, that the manager took us off for activities or or something like that during the build-up. What was it that was like? strange? It was completely out of character for the manager, because the manager was so stiff and structured and stuck in his ways. Two days before the final, he took us off to the Grove Hotel in London, and it was like a stag do, minus the alcohol. Um, it was go-karts, there was archery, there was team bonding exercises. Because he, he ruled with such a, uh, a stern hand, we kind of like looked at the thing. Are we allowed to enjoy ourselves? Is this a test? What, what's going on here? And he was able to take our mind away from focusing on the game. Timu, can you remember how you were in the in the days building up to the to the final? That was my first game in Wembley. Of course, and uh, a lot of my family was wanted to come to see the game. Coming out as a winner, you know, it, it made made it so much special. And as you know, all know, I, I, I was a Spurs fan till very young boy. So that's a very that was a very very proud moment for me. Going back to Ben and Eric, if you can just think ahead, going to walk out at Wembley again for the pair of you in a cup final. What is sort of going through your head when you walk through that tunnel? A lot of a lot of things. Uh, we used to play two seasons ago, no? There every every weekend. Uh, now will be amazing. I think I'm waiting for for this day. We know what this game means for us, and will be amazing if, if we win. Hopefully, we can do it. Yeah, I think Coco's right. It's we have played there quite a lot, but nothing can replicate it when it comes to an actual final. I think, you know, form goes out the window, everything does. It's just a one-off 90 minutes and it's, it's like incredibly emotional. But if you come out of it on top, it's, uh, it's special. Well, cliche, isn't it? It's every schoolboy's dream and it's what you dreamed of as a kid, especially the, at the new Wembley as well. I was fortunate to play in the first international there for England, but then to play in the first cup final, to climb the stairs and to lift the trophy, it was, you know, it was a phenomenal experience. And, you know, to give something back to the fans. Yeah, of course, unbelievable. Uh, I remember still watching some photos after the, from the locker room and as we are celebrating. And if you remember, Robo, our next game after that final was against Birmingham. We lost 5-0, so <laughs> probably that tells how much we enjoyed it. <laughs> so, good time. We'll, let, yeah. we'll let you off that one, mate. Brilliant. Yeah, like I said, yeah, fantastic memories. And I can't believe it's, it's still the last trophy that Spurs has won, so hopefully that's Last will change all that this year.